What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are going to be reviewing the new Morphe Bronze Tropical Collection. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram, I did a little poll if you wanted me to do this collection versus a, another eyeshadow palette and you guys all chose this. It was kind of 50-50 there for a while and then by the end of it, it was like an overwhelming majority wanting the new Morphe collection. So I'm really, really excited to play with it. It's perfect timing for spring break and spring, summer months, everything's very bronzy, tropical. I'm all about it. So yeah, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, be sure to do so. I will leave my information down below and right here again. So that way you guys can participate in a lot of polls and questions I ask. I'm always asking what you guys wanna see. Um, and I give you guys the opportunity to vote on certain videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So before we start playing with the actual makeup, I just wanna let you guys know that I have all of the components of the collection here with the exception of that big kabuki brush. Um, I have the liquid luster, I have the lip glosses, I have the bronzer, and then of course I have the 35G palette. So first of all, let's talk about this packaging. It is absolutely stunning. I am so excited. This is beautiful. This is just like calling my name. So there's 35 shades and let's go ahead and open her up. She comes bubble wrapped like all Morphe palettes. I have to say Morphe does pretty well with their packaging. And I, for the most part, really do enjoy Morphe palettes. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them, meh. If you haven't seen my full face of Morphe review, that video did not go well. Um, but for the most part, they're big palettes like this. I do really, really like. And I was at first like hesitant, do I need this? Because it's very bronzy, like a lot of warm tones, very summery. And you know, we have modern renaissance. We have a lot of those palettes out there already. But this one just still, you know, intrigued me. And of course I had to test it out. So this is what the palette looks like itself. It's not like their usual plastic packaging. This is like the paper packaging, like the um, first Jaclyn Hill palette, that kind of stuff. And this is what she looks like when you open it up. There is no mirror in here, unfortunately, but you do have a little sheet with all the names, which we'll see if we can use that. <laughs> really, really pretty bronze. I know a lot of people have been saying that a lot of the shades look the exact same, but I'm seeing quite a variety. Um, they are, for the most part, pretty warm toned. You do have a few cool tones up here. Um, it looks like a black and kind of a sparkly gray. This is the first time I'm actually like pulling this out and playing with it. So I'm seeing it with you in person for the first time. So it looks really pretty. You got like a lot of nice transition shades, nice mattes in between, a lot, a lot of shimmers. So this looks like a really, really well-rounded palette. Um, that's usually my issue when there is not everything you need in one palette. Like what's the point of having a palette then? Um, so this looks really, really beautiful. We're definitely gonna be playing with this. Now, um, the bronzer, this is the Glamour Bronze and I got mine in the shade Mega Star. There are three shades. This is the middle one, which is meant for medium tan skin tones. There is like a light fair and then of course a deep dark shade. Um, so like I said, this is the shade Mega Star and this thing looks massive. So this as well, bubble wrapped and it's the same paper packaging as the eyeshadow palette. This is huge, wow. Okay, so you get a really nice size mirror and it looks really beautiful. This color looks a little bit dark for me. I'm wondering if I should have gotten the light shade. This looks really, really nice. You get a lot of product and I will be sure to, of course, include prices. I will list them somewhere around here so you guys can see how much everything costs. So the next thing I have are the Morphe Hot Tropic Five Piece Lip Gloss Collection. So this is what it looks like. I don't think I'm gonna play with all of these. I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna keep like two shades and throw three of them in a giveaway. I'm really keen to do a spring summer giveaway kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm thinking I might pop some of these in a giveaway, but these are what they look like. Really, really pretty colors. They look a little bit crazy, but I think they're gonna be pretty wearable. And then the last thing I got in this collection is the Morphe Liquid Luster. These are four mini highlighter drops. So again, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep two of these and throw two of these into a giveaway. Some of these are a little bit dark for me and there's like a pink shade in here that I just don't see myself using. Um, so I'm not going to swatch all of them. Um, but this is what they look like. They look a lot 
pretty much the exact same as the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Um, they look really pretty. You have a gold here, like a rose gold champagne, and then a pink tone here. All right, so I am already all primed up. I just went in with my Tasha Silk Canvas, and for foundation today, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Born This Way. It is a very dark shade, but that's because, much like everyone else, I match my foundation to my body and not my face. I do not self tan my face. So I want to go in with one of these drops and I want to add this to my foundation. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to go in with this champagne one here. I just want to see how this looks mixed into foundation and this is in the shade Optic. So I'm picking a pretty lum not lum luminous for me. I'm a very matte foundation wearer, um, but kind of a more natural finish so it won't completely bury these. Sometimes if you use a highlighter in a really matte foundation, you completely lose it. So you don't really get a very accurate picture of if it works or not. So I'm just going to take like a few pumps of foundation on there. I know I use a lot. And then I'm just going to take a few of these drops. And this is really nice packaging. This is actually glass. Again, these look pretty much identical to the Cover FX. This is obviously Cover FX and this is the Morphe. It's obviously just smaller, but literally the exact same packaging. So I'm just picking some up on the dropper. Ooh, that's weird though. It's like not a dropper. Do you see that? It's like a blunt edge. Okay, that's unique. Ooh, okay. That comes out kind of fast. And I'm just taking a Real Techniques beauty sponge and we're just gonna go ahead and apply. By the way, if you're wondering, I am in the shade Sand in this Too Faced foundation when I'm like freshly self-tanned. All right. <laughs> So this is what we're looking at, like at this point. I am very dewy and very shiny. Um, I'm finding that compared to like the Cover FX drops when I mix these in my foundation, I look like the Tin Man, I'm not gonna lie. Like they're very, very, very prominent. These I think are a little bit more subtle. My skin doesn't look like as sparkly. It just looks very dewy and I don't know if these are as strong because like I said, I did use kind of a more luminous foundation. So these are pretty. I don't think they're like anything too crazy though. So I have finished my base. I did concealer, powder, and I did my eyebrows as well. So now we are ready to move on to eyeshadow. First things first, I'm going to take, and by the way, I did set my eyelids. I just used a concealer to set it with my translucent powder. So I'm just going to take a super fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this color right here. Um, let's look at what the name is. Oh, this is gonna take me forever if I have to look at every name. Uh, Sandy, we're gonna go into this color here called Sandy. And we're just going to use this as our transition shade. So this is literally like a little bit pinker and a shade darker than my skin tone. That's blending really nicely. So next I'm just going to take a little bigger of a brush and we're going to go into um, this shade right here. Let's look at what it's called. And that shade is SPF. And I'm just taking this, ooh, that one's pretty good. I'm just taking this from inner to outer corner. I think we're gonna do kind of like a halo kind of eye maybe. So now I'm gonna go into this reddish brown color right here and we're just gonna build that up. Yeah, these to me are like the typical like buttery pigmented shades that I remember Morphe palettes being. Like, that's just so easy to blend. All right, so I think the majority of our blending is done. So I want to go in with some of the shimmer shades. So I'm looking at this one right here. That's really pretty. That like matches my shirt perfectly. Let's see this like lighter yellow. 
that's pretty too. I think what I'm going to do is go into this yellowy color right here and I'm going to take that on just like a shader brush and this is clean, it's just stained. Um, and I'm not gonna do an in-depth like cut crease because I want this to look very like bronzy and smoky and I don't want it to be like any harsh lines. So I'm just going to pack this In the center of my lid. Mm, not loving this brush. That's not working. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Fix Plus just to see if that can't get it a little bit more metallic. There she is. That is what I was looking for. So Fix Plus just makes everything more foiled and metallic. I do this with a lot of my shimmer shadows. I spray them with a little bit of Fix Plus. So this to me is not like a huge deal breaker that I needed to give it a little something to adhere to. If you wanna use like a glitter glue or something, not the end of the world. So I think I'm gonna go in with this really light yellowy gold right here and I'm just gonna take that on my finger and just pack this in the middle just for like a little extra punch. Also because I blended my shadows, I feel like I lost a little bit of that shimmer just to amp it up just a little bit more. So I do want to play with a little bit more color. I want to go into these purples here. So I'm just going to take like a purple liner. I'm just going to line my waterline. So now just taking a pencil brush, I'm going to take this cranberry color here and just kind of smoke out that liner a little bit. All right, and I think that's pretty much it for eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara and some false lashes off camera, and I'll be right back to finish up the rest of the face. Alrighty, so eyes are all done. This is what we're working with. We have like a purple lash line with nice bronzy golden tones. I really, really love this and this would probably be like my go-to summer look. So the lashes, in case you're wondering, that I'm wearing are the icon in the style Drunk in Love. And I do have a coupon code below. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Um, but if you're interested in saving, I think 20% off, I will list it down in the description below. So let's go ahead and even out our face and go in with some bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite bronzer brush and this is the Morphe M530. Um, it's clean, it's just really stained and janky looking, but it's my favorite. So again, this is the style, the shade, Megastar. Um, and you get 0.7 ounces. This is a huge pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Oh, wow. I love this color. This looks so good. Wow, okay. Don't walk to Ulta, run and go get yourself one of these. This is so pretty. This is one of those products that you don't have to contour with. You can get away with just bronzing and you look so chiseled already. I like that for a nose contour too. Wow, this looks so good. Okay, like I said, I give this a 10 out of 10. I really love this. I will be using this again for sure. So for blush, I'm just gonna apply it really quickly while I have you here. And I'm gonna go in with this MAC blush in the shade Gingerly. This is just like a nice peachy color. I like this for the summer or like any like bronzy look I'm doing. Shit. I just realized I'm putting all this powder on my face and we have a liquid highlight. Well, we're gonna find out how that liquid sits on top of powder, I guess. Oh my God. So this is the champagne -y one that I mixed into my foundation, but I think I'm gonna go in with this gold here on the end. 
and use that as my actual highlight. Again, I know I just laid down a shit ton of powder and completely forgot about using this guy, but we're just gonna see how it works. Um, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a tiny, tiny amount goes a really, really long way with liquid products, so don't waste your products. Don't squeeze out too much. And we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. This is no highlight on the side, and this is highlight. Hmm. I'm gonna use a little bit more. That's just like, not really doing anything. I would say this is definitely like a very natural looking glow, not quite what I would normally go for. Um, and I used actually like all of the product on the back of my hand. So I don't know about these to be completely honest. It's, I mean, it's really pretty, but it's not enough for me. So just to complete the look, I'm going to top that with the Dose of Colors Katie Desi collection collab, and this is Fuego. I'm just going to actually put that on top a little bit because that's the kind of highlight I like. See, this is like natural, pretty, and this is like I'm wearing highlighter, and I like people to know that I'm wearing highlighter. So I guess it just depends on what you like. So the last product I want to touch on are these glosses, and this is a pack of five, which is actually pretty good value considering. So you have, actually this pink is not a flat opaque pink. It does have some like peach sparkle. That is not my cup of tea, so this for sure is going in the giveaway. I'm not gonna swatch that one. Um, but I think that I wanna use this champagne -y one maybe. I'm between these two colors. This is like a champagne -y color and then we have like a peachy color. Um, I'm not gonna use or swatch this like pinky color with some like gold sparkle and then the darker gold. I'm actually gonna put these in a giveaway. I'm gonna swatch this hot pink first just because I wanna see how opaque it is. Doesn't really have that much of a scent. So that's what it looks like right there. In the tube, this is like highlighter pink. It doesn't really translate to that, but I'm sure if you layered it on top of the lipstick, it would look really, really pretty. And this is in the shade Punch. And then we have Beach Goals, which is like a champagne-y, glittery color. Ooh, that's frosty. That's it right there. I don't know about that. And then we have Sunny's, which is kind of a peachy gold shade. This is Sunny's here. I'm gonna go in with Sunny's and just apply a nice layer on top of the lip that I'm wearing. All right, so this is the final makeup look using the new Morphe 35G Bronze Goals collection. I kind of am obsessed. I think everything in this collection I would use again with the exception of these guys. I don't know that I would use these again. There was nothing in here that I really, really hated. I think everything turned out really beautiful. I'm obsessed with this look. I keep looking in my viewfinder here because I think it looks so pretty and just bronzy and summery. These are my favorite kind of looks. I think everything is really, really great if you're wanting to test anything out in this collection. I would say go for it. I think everything is really great value. You know, Morphe came out with these really awesome sets where you can get multiple shades of things for a really, really reasonable price. So I'm really excited about this eyeshadow palette. I'm definitely going to be playing it with it a lot, lot more. I know this wasn't a super, super in-depth tutorial. If you want one of those using these palettes, I could do that. Um, let me know in the comments down below but for now I'm really really satisfied with all of these products and I'm really glad that I snagged them. I do think this is limited edition so if you can get your hands on it I definitely definitely would recommend doing so at least the eyeshadow palette and the bronzer for sure. 
I think those are new staples in my summer spring makeup routine. I'm really, really excited about them. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe if you haven't already and take it one step further, hit that bell down below so you're notified every time I upload, which is usually one to two times a week. I have very exciting content coming up for you guys. So thank you so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay Hey, that's how